All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Pixel Book Go, and I've been using this for 90 days. So, I genuinely have used this device for 90 days straight, uh, nonstop, and it's been more than impressive. Um, the laptop itself uh, is built uh, very nicely, man. It's built with this nice feet along the bottom here, which gives it grip. And you have a headphone jack here on this side with a type C and then another type C over here. Uh, the top of the device um, has plastic feeling, polycarbonate feeling, uh, but it's a good size. Uh, it's perfect almost for feel and weight. Uh, and the keyboard, obviously, the keyboard is fantastic for typing. This is what you'll see the most when you're looking at this laptop. This is gonna be your view uh, of what you're looking at when using this. Now the keyboard on here, I have typed so many things on this for the website and just done multiple things um, for web browsing and things like that. But Chromebooks are more than just devices to be used for web browsing. That's a big misconception that people threw out there saying that they're not powerful uh, and that they just can't hold it down. When in reality, I gave up my MacBook Pro uh, for the Slate, and then I still have the Slate, and then I was nice enough to get from Google the Pixelbook Go. Now, when I purchased the Slate, I thought that was the just a great uh, alternative to having the MacBook Pro. I hooked it up to my widescreen monitor. I, I, I used it as my regular computer, even though I have a 5K iMac. Uh, I still used the, the Pixel Slate as a daily driver because it was just so fast. And I like the fast boot up of Chromebooks as well. So switching to the Pixelbook Go as a daily driver was super easy uh, because I knew the benefits of having Chrome OS. I actually thought felt a certain certain way about Chrome OS before getting first hand use of it years ago. Uh, but after using my other, I've had several Chromebooks by the way, since having this one uh, and um, but before having this one and I became more reliant on Chrome than any other operating system for laptops uh, because of the speed and functionality that they that they offer you can do pretty much anything on a chromebook that you can do on any other laptop that was my big drawback when i first started to try to use chromebooks i was unsure of what i could actually do and with the potential of them but some high points for this uh, pixelbook go is the battery life uh, it is absolutely incredible you should be able to make it it, it, depending on what you're doing on your laptop, you for sure can get about 12 to 14 hours of usage out of like hardcore usage. You should get at least 12 hours of usage uh, because the battery on this thing is incredible. Now, if you're a person who used it here and there, uh, like I do throughout every day, I use this every day, but I don't use it more than an hour or so or two hours, about, about an hour a day is what I'm using this. And so it lasts me for a long time on a charge. Um, I'll type up some things for the website or I'll do something uh, for both websites because I have two websites. I'll do something, a lot of data entry on here. And then what I'll do is I'll have YouTube playing over here. Like when you open up a web browser, you can have, when you open up YouTube, uh, if you start to play something, um, let me see here. If you play something, let's just play this. And speaking of playing something, the speakers on this thing are just incredible. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if I just tap over here, it minimizes down here to the bottom side. And I can go ahead and I'll mute this. I can go ahead and start typing whatever I want to type over here. Uh, it, it's just that good. And so that's how I'm able to multitask and still get content going. And I do this every time I turn this laptop on. I've got YouTube playing down there and I'm typing something. Uh, and it is just fantastic experience. And when you close out, you still have it minimized if you want to. Uh, and you can do other things. You can open Twitter, you can open Instagram, you can do whatever you want. The multitasking on here has proven to be to far exceed my expectations and I am super happy with it. Uh, I just don't have a bad run uh, with Chrome. I, I've never had a bad run with Chrome OS and I didn't expect it. That's the thing. I didn't expect for it to be this good. Uh, on the Pixelbook Go, um, but it's it's solid. This is a solid laptop, and if you're into social media and gaming, you can do games too. I mean, it is a touchscreen, 
and you can do games and everything on here you can do whatever you want on here you get all the benefits of having a laptop and a multimedia machine for gaming if you want to this is the core i5 version uh, it comes in different models it, there's a core m3 version uh, and then there's a core i7 version uh, and uh, that is the 4k version that i would love to get that 4k version um and by the way this new color this pink looking color is available now um, but that core i7 um, with the 4k display is sweet man i mean i would love to get my hands on this and, and have it as a a full time uh, but having this core i5 already you know it's not really you know, I don't really need to, unless I were to get rid of this Core i5. Um, that's the only reason I would go to the to the 7. For the 4K display alone, it's just absolutely great. I love it. This is a fast laptop. You know, don't let people tell you it's it's uh, just a Chromebook. And in all fairness, I used to say that. I used to say it's just a it's just a web browser on a device, and I was totally wrong. Uh, using this thing for three months straight has been just phenomenal man i mean it's it's an experience that you'll have to just get it and see uh standing and testing in store is cool and everything but bringing it home and using it for your everyday task is fantastic now these go on sale sometimes uh and the core m3 model is one that a person might jump on because it's 200 dollars less which i understand that i have no experience with the core m3 but I have the Core i5 8 gig 128 for both my Slate and this device, and they're both blazing fast. Now, Will H Tech Reviews, he picked up the Core M3 version of both the Slate and the, the Pixelbook Go, and he didn't really have any problems with either one from what I understand. He, he loved them both. Um, but I don't know, man. I think it's a choice that you'll have to make and decide whether or not you want to get a Pixelbook Go. But if you're looking for a laptop, when you consider this, look at... Um, Apple's lowest cost laptop and then look at the lowest cost laptop from Google uh, as far as the Pixelbook Go goes. So when you consider that 650 bucks for this machine with 8 gigs and 64 gigs of storage, uh, I think it has 64 on that one. Let me see. Yeah, it's got 64. I would tell you just look at Apple's lowest one and go to this Core i5 right here because when you think about it, the um, the one I have here, the Core i5, I think this will be ideal for a lot of people uh, when you're trying to decide. You, you've kind of got that middle ground. You can get it with 16 gigs for $150 more, but I don't I don't know that you'll probably need that because this is pretty much uh, more than enough power from what I'm seeing here. This 128 gig, 8 gig Core i5 is fast, folks. I wouldn't steer you wrong. I have literally been using this thing daily for the last three months. It's a little, been a little, little over three months, but still I've been using it for three months and it is absolutely great. So I want to give you a follow up 90 day review with the Pixelbook Go. As you can see, it's, you know, you can see that I'm using fingerprints all over. It is kind of a fingerprint magnet, uh, but still this thing gets used daily. And when I'm not using it, I store it in my sleeve here, the Bell Ray sleeve. This is nice protection for it. Uh, and I'm happy. I'm good with it. So using it alongside the Pixel 4, you can obviously unlock your phone by just holding it next to it and things like that. But um, the the operating system here, I can have my text messages right on my laptop as well. Uh, so if you like, um, you know, that uniformity that Apple offers, there is some place for you with, with Android. Um, you, you have your messaging app on here uh, and it'll sync directly over here. Uh, and you'll be able to just type in your, your. you won't have to touch your phone. You can just leave it right here. And I think you'll be, be happy with that, typing on a bigger keyboard as well. So the Pixelbook Go, man, there's a whole bunch to cover, but um, 90 days with it of like real world use, everything that I'm doing with it, I've done live streams with it. Um, any kind of consumption, I've I've probably done it with this thing. Uh, and it's totally it's totally worth it, man. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell you something to try to sell you on something. I'm giving you real world, straight up usage from the device. And if you're looking for a laptop, now is the time to get into the Chrome OS uh, with the Pixelbook Go. 
And remember, I have the slate also. So if you're a person who wants a convertible, you could grab the slate. The slate is really nice. Obviously, I got the Google keyboard with it too. You don't have to um, to do to get the keyboard. Um, uh oh, you saw my next purchase. You don't have to get the 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 keyboard, uh, but if you, if you're just into that, you should. I suggest you do it. Uh, but you can uh -oh. you can detach the keyboard, and you know you can use it like this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using it like this. And if you don't want to use it like that, put it in the keyboard. Obviously, I have the pen as well. Uh, the Slate is a fantastic uh, device, man, with the speakers facing you. The cameras, I've compared these two, and the cameras are better on the Pixel Slate. The front camera is better, and obviously it has a rear camera, so that's something that you need to take note of. Um, the, the Slate has the offerings that, you know, you want to say that it's, you know, kind of not the greatest, but I think these the 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 fact that it has a camera on the rear, uh, opposed to the slate, uh, the Pixel, but Go not having two cameras, which is fine because it's a laptop. Uh, but the slate is offering something of its own. You know, it has its drawbacks, uh, but at the same time, I still like the Pixel Slate. I just like the Pixel Book Go a little better because it's a full fledged laptop experience and, and, and it's one that's extremely impressive man so if you're undecided on a laptop i recommend the pixel book go like right now just buy it and you know if you think you want to save money and go for the core m3 just think about the internal storage of 64 gigs it's not even about the core m3 just think about the internal storage for when you're on the go even though you can hook up, I hooked up an external um, hard drive to this. Everything works through the Type-C. It's fast. Everything, transfer speeds are great. Uh, I'll monitor up everything. Adapters. It works just like my MacBook Pro did with the dongles and stuff coming. So I would tell you to definitely go for the Core i5 though. See if you can catch this on sale. If you can't catch it on sale, just know that when you're getting the Core i5, all you have to do is think about laptops out there that don't have the good battery this one's going to have. That are not as powerful that, that don't boot as fast that don't flow as fast updates and all that stuff you don't have to worry about any of that because it updates all on its own uh it's it's always connected man you just open it up and go and it's fantastic man so the pixel book go um it's it's a good laptop man like when i'm doing these types of follow-ups it's hard to explain to you um how great something is or how bad something is and and speaking of bad the you know the drawbacks from this to me is just io that's it there's, there's, I would have loved to have seen something different, like a full size USB or something over there, uh, you know, or, or four of these type C ports that would have been cool. Other than that, you know, I don't think that I could find any drawbacks from this. I really don't. I would have liked some more IO, but at least it has a headphone jack. And it's weird that they're taking away headphone jacks on the more portable devices like phones, uh, and putting them on their laptops. And <laughs> I don't understand that, but I guess it is what it is. Anyway, it's your man Jay. Uh, the Pixelbook Go is, is really nice, and I think you'll really enjoy this laptop if you decide to get it. So, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.